breaking welcome to today's news here is the headlines enough is enough dangote shocks everyone tells tinubu to remove petrol subsidy despite hardship enough is enough dangote shocks everyone tells Tenobo to remove petrol subsidy despite hardship. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news and please do ensure you like, subscribe and share. Now the details. Aliko Dangote Africa's richest man and founder of Dangote Petroleum Refinery has once again voiced his position on the controversial issue of fuel subsidies in Nigeria. During an interview with Bloomberg TV, Dangote emphasized the need for the federal government to abolish the petrol subsidy, stating that the current economic climate makes it the right time to do so. His remarks come amid ongoing discussions about Nigerian subsidy policy, which has been a topic of debate due to the financial strain. It imposes on the government and the Nigerian economy. I believe now is the appropriate time to remove subsidies, as all the countries have already done so, Dangote stated. He added that although subsidies are a sensitive issue, they create inefficiencies that drive up prices and compel the government to spend money unnecessarily. Dangote's argument is rooted in the belief that subsidies are unsustainable. He pointed out that once the government decides to subsidize a product like petrol, it distorts the market by allowing prices to fluctuate unnaturally. The government, according to him, ends up paying what they are not supposed to be paying. In this scenario, Resources that could have been directed toward critical sectors such as infrastructure, education, or healthcare are instead spent on maintaining artificially low fuel prices. Fuel subsidy in Nigeria has long been a double edged sword. While it provides temporary relief to consumers, it strains the government finances. According to Dangote, the financial burden of the subsidy is particularly significant given Nigerians' porous borders. Petrol often ends up being smuggled into neighboring countries where it is sold at higher prices. Given that Nigerians' gasoline prices are about 60% of the price in nearby nations, the porous borders make it easy for traders to exploit Nigerians subsidized for undermining the policy's intent to benefit Nigerian citizens. With fuel cheaper in Nigeria, 
than in most neighboring countries. The subsidy essentially funds the smuggling of petrol across borders, further reducing the potential benefit for Nigerians in Dangote's view. This makes the current subsidy regime not sustainable, especially when the government is unable to afford the escalating cost. Dangote also highlighted that his new refinery will offer great, greater transparency on Nigerians' actual fuel consumption. Estimates of Nigerians' daily petrol consumption have varied, with figures ranging from 16 million to 30 million liters. These discrepancies make it difficult for the government to accurately access and manage its four subsidy policies. With the Dangote refinery set to play a significant role in the country's petroleum market, the billionaire businessman reviewed plans to track the petrol produced and sold locally. Everything can be counted and accounted for, he said. Explaining that his company will place trackers on trucks and ships to monitor fuel deliveries. This tracking system aims to ensure that fuel designated for domestic use is not smuggled out of the country, helping to curb some of the inefficiencies associated with the subsidy system. According to Dangote, we plan to install trackers on most trucks or ships loading from our refinery to ensure the oil remains within Nigeria, which will help the government save a significant amount of money.